Hey guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how you can create this 2D whiteboard animation video using Canva. So continue watching. So here we are on Canva's homepage, guys, and I'm going to start off by heading to create a design right here and then select custom size. The size that I'm working with is a 1920 by 1080 pixels. Now in this section guys, this is where you'll be able to go to elements and select any elements that you want to work with, go to text, add your text to your design to create whatever it is that you're working on. Now, I am going to start off with, I'm going to use some elements that I already have here. So I'm using this cat. Now I'm going to go to text and just select this text option here, add some text. Now for this text that I have here, I'm going to add some effects to it. Of course, you have the option of going here and changing your font style, the size of the text and all that. But for now, I'm just changing some effects here. So I'm heading to effects and then I'm going to select hollow. And I'll just work with this. All right. Now for my next slide, I'm going to add the cat again. So I'm just going to highlight it and select duplicate, then and just drag it down to my next design page here. Here we go. And now I'm just going to add some more text. I have the text copied to my clipboard, so I'm just going to go back to this text box to select it. Then I'll just right click on it and then select paste to paste in the text that I have. Now I'm just going to drag the edges of the text box here until I get my text to look the way I want it to look. So here with your text, guys, you have the option of dragging to make your font size larger or smaller, or you can always go up to the box here to change the size. I'm going to change the font style, so I'm heading over here. I am going to work with this option here, this one. Now I'm going to return to elements and add a few toys that Delight will play with. So we have the yarn and then let's have all. So now that I have my design pages, I'm just going to go here to share and I will download them. And I will download them as PNG files. So I'm going to do that right now. And then once that's done, I am going to return to Canva to show you the rest of the process. Okay, so now that I have my designs downloaded as PNG files, guys, I'm going to head to video right here and select it. Create a blank video. Now at this point, guys, I'm going to head to apps and in apps, I'll go here where it says your apps. That's where I have it. And the app that we're using is Speed Paint. So that's the one you'd use. Now, I just want to point out that when you go to apps to search for speed paint you will need to ensure that you read the privacy policy the permissions terms and conditions before you actually use it i suggest you do that okay so once that's all done <laughs> as you will have your app showing up under showing under this section that says your app so i'm just going to select it right now and this is where we will Add in our files, the files that you saw me download, the PNG files, that's where this is where we're going to add it. So I'm going to select choose file and upload the file and then we continue. So this is the file, the PNG file that I have just added, guys. A part of the word cat is not showing properly, but it will show properly when everything is done, which you will see in a little bit. So we'll go to overall smoothness here. I'm going to leave it at 60 frames per second. You do have two other options here. For the sketch duration, I'm going to leave it at 5 seconds. Now, because the cat is colored, for the color fill duration, I'm going to choose a time for it. So I'm going to work with, uh, let's say, 3 seconds. 
I leave the background color as white and I'm going to tick add sketching hand effect. I'm going to leave, I'm not going to select add fade out effect. When you're playing around with it guys, you can always decide what you want and what you don't want. Now the next thing is to just select this button that says animate image. And then we wait for the magic to happen. All right, so now we have the video added to the page. It's still loading properly, so I'll, I'll need to wait on that. But in the meantime, okay, very good, it's ready. So guys, if you notice, it's just in this little section of the page. And of course, we'd want it to fill out the entire page. So what I'm going to do is to just right click on it and then select set video as background. And there we go. So I'm just going to play it so that you guys can see what's happening here. All right, so that's what we have. Now, now to add the next slide, which you guys saw, where we have the toys, I'm going to select the plus icon here to add another page. So now I'm just going to go here and choose the other file. So for this one, I'm going to keep the same 60 frames per second, but I'm going to make the sketch duration a bit longer. So let me use 10 seconds. And for the color fill duration, I'm going to use five seconds. I'll still keep the hand sketching effect. And I'm going to select add fade out effect this time. I'm still keeping the background color as white. And now I'm going to select animate image. Now I'm going to need to wait a bit for this animation to take place. So I'm just going to speed up the video again. Now, just like before guys, the video is just taking up a small section of the entire design here. So I'm going to right click on it and select set video as background. Now I'll just quickly play a section of it so we can see what's going on. So we have delight the cat. And then we have the text to do about delight showing up. So this is looking good so far. Now guys, taking a look at the time that we have here, the entire video will be 29.9 seconds. Now to make it less than 29.9 seconds, I'm going to select each slide and do some changes. So I'm selecting the first slide here or the first page and I'm going here to where it says playback. And I'm going to increase the video speed. So I'm increasing it to two. So we can see that the animation is happening way faster. And I'm going to do the same thing for the second page. So again, I'm going to play back, increasing the video speed to two times. All right, so then I now have it being a total of 14.9 seconds. So let me play the entire thing so that you guys can see what's happening. So once you're satisfied with your animation guys you can just go ahead and select share and then download it as an mp4 video so guys if you found this video helpful leave a like so i can know that you do what are some different projects you're working on that you'll be animating let me know in the comments uh also go ahead and subscribe for more content okay